Good evening, everyone. How are you? How are you? <laughs> well, I hope. Um, today I'm going to talk about G1 Therapeutics, ticker GTHX. And I covered this company a couple months ago, so if you want this full summary, just go back a couple months. Uh, I don't know. I guess. Yeah, just go back to like my old videos. You'll see it. And they already have a commercialized product out there. And I'm just going to call it Trilisolib. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to call it Trilisolib. <laughs> and it treats, uh, let's see. colon, breast, lung, and bladder cancers. So, the, the, the pipeline is deep with uh, for treating um, a variety of solid tumors. Um, so, Trilisolib, so this report just came out um, regarding small cell lung cancer. Uh, patients with that so and this is really good news that came out this is just last week via globe newswire and i don't know if i said this already but the company's trading at four dollars and 44 cents and the one-year target is 39 dollars and 50 cents so it has huge upside and it's already a commercialized biotech so let's see this news that just came out last week Patients receiving trilisolib experienced a lower incident of single lineage and multi lineage chemotherapy induced myelosuppressive events compared with patients receiving placebo. Total number of patients experienced a myelosuppressive event was lower with trilisolib compared to placebo. It's getting dark in here, but I'm just going to keep my sunglasses on. <laughs> uh, let's see. The proportion of patients who experienced at least one multilineage myelosuppressive event was lower in the trilisolib arm compared to the placebo arm. The data derived from a post hoc analysis of phase two trials were presented in a poster at the 2022 American Society of Clinical Oncology annual meeting. Myelosuppression is a major toxicity of chemotherapy treatment for patients with extensive stage small cell lung cancer that often results in chemotherapy dose delays and dose reductions, both of which can compromise clinical outcomes, said Jerome Goldschmidt, MD, for oncologists with Blue Ridge Cancer Care in Blacksburg, Virginia, and lead author of the poster. Both the patients and the healthcare system at large bear the complications of myelosuppressive events such as neutropenia, anemia, and thrombocytopenia, so it is imperative that we achieve clinically meaningful reductions in myelosuppression in multi, multiple cell line, lineages and its consequences, utilizing novel therapies such as trilisolib. In the analysis, the, research cal the researchers calculated the number of patients who experienced single lineage and multi lineage myelosuppressive events, as well as the total number of, ev of events each person experienced in both first-line and second and third-line chemotherapy settings, only severe grade events were included in the analysis, and 75% of patients were in the first-line setting. Results of the analysis showed that throughout cycles one through four of first-line therapy, fewer patients treated with trilisolib experienced single lineage um, and multi-lineage myelosuppressive events and fewer events occurred per person than patients who received placebo. The specifically analysis of the pooled data showed that patients receiving trilisolib in the first-line setting experienced fewer single-lineage myelosuppressive events, including a 75% reduction in severe neutropenia compared to patients with uh, placebo, a 50% reduction in severe anemia compared to placebo, a 100% reduction in severe 
th thrombocytopenia compared to placebo. Additionally, analysis of the pool data showed that patients receiving trilicilib in the first-line setting experienced fewer concurrent multilineage myelosuppressive events, including a 100% reduction in concurrent severe anemia, severe neutropenia, severe thrombocytopenia compared to placebo, a 100% reduction in concurrent severe neutropenia and severe thrombocytopenia compared to placebo, a 50% reduction in concurrent severe neutropenia and severe anemia compared to placebo, and a 33% reduction in concurrent severe anemia and severe thrombocytopenia <laughs> compared to uh, placebo. So, like I said, this company has so much upside. Um, trading at $4.44 with a $39 price target. Um, it, trilicilib is already a commercialized product. And treating, you know, all solid tumors, like I said in the beginning of the video, colon, breast, lung, bladder. Now they're treating it, you know, they're doing trials for, uh, and it's showing great efficacy for uh, lung cancer. So keep this company on your radar. That's all I got to say. You like that picture back there? Nice picture. If you can see it in the dark. I like that picture. But have a great weekend, everybody. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.